Good morning, everybody. Um, sorry for my parents. I mean, I'm not sorry for my parents, but I'm laying in the bed. I haven't gotten up yet. Um, it's kind of early. My kids aren't here, so I'm really just trying to. Um, I'm just trying to enjoy the fact that my kids not here this morning, because they would be in my bed already. So um, I'm just laying in my bed, relaxing, um, enjoying the morning. Um, and then I remembered that I didn't do this video. I've been trying to do a video. Good morning, grand rising, good afternoon, good night. Just got on here rambling. Y'all just seen a real transparent moment for me. That's how I wake up. I wake up and I just, but, um, good morning. I apologize. Good morning, everybody. Beautiful Kings and Queens. Um, welcome back. My name is Ranisha, but I go by Ronnie or Nish, Nisha, whatever. Float your boat, just be nice. Oh, there goes one of my kids. <laughs> but um, good morning, Fab. Um, but, but so I want to talk to y'all about sequence numbers. Um, I was supposed to do this video, and I hope y'all can hear me because my voice is a little deeper than usual when I first wake up, and I still got makeup on my face from last night. So yeah, I didn't go anywhere. I just went to the movies with my friend, but. I was tired, came home, went to sleep. But we we went to go see Woman King. It was really, really, really good. I advise everybody to go see it. But so, um, I want to talk to you about sequence numbers. Um, sequence. Um, sequence numbers are. Oh, I'm sorry, y'all. I gotta find my earring. Let me start my ear. See, my hair looks crazy, y'all. This is the first um real video y'all get to see. Good morning. <laughs> But yeah, so um, I want to talk to you about sequence numbers. Um, sequence numbers are um, repetitive numbers, I guess you want to say, like number like two, 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 three, 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 four, four, four. You know, any number um, that you see repeated over X amount of times. Um, also, some other numbers um, that a lot of people kind of don't pay attention to, unless you are really like. Um, into knowing that you get messages through numbers. Um, some other numbers are one, two, three, one, two, three, four. Um, I think three, two, one. Um, I think two, three, one, and a whole bunch of other ones. But like typically, most people just see like 11, 11. Um, I really can't think of any other numbers that. I don't want to say the average person, but like when you're at the beginning of your spiritual journey, most, most people just see 1111 and most people are like, oh, this is our lucky number, make a wish, this is our, our um, soulmate number, um, this means you're with your person. Um, but the more that I have been um, on this journey, I've realized that 1111, to me, this is my interpretation um, and I have... Um, found some reads where it kind of it supported this but i feel that um 11 11 is just like the beginning of your transition um it's it's showing that you are become spiritually you're heightening your spiritual level i don't know if that's the correct way to say it but it's the beginning of the paradigm shift um and so I probably started seeing 11, 11, maybe, sheesh, maybe like six or seven years ago. Um, and I had already started like eating different. I had already started um, chakras, yoga, meditation. I had already started all that stuff. Um, and so I started seeing 11, 11 all the time. And I'm like, oh my gosh, like I'm with my person at the time when I was seeing it or whatever. Um, but now where I'm at today, I really realized that was just a jump start. Um, lately, the numbers that I have been seeing um, a lot, like I'm going to say within the last week, two weeks, um, I've been seeing 333, 444, 1212, 777, and I've been seeing 123 and 1234 a lot. But like, I think for the transition where I'm at in my life right now, I think the number has been two, two, two or two, two or two, 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 two. Like, I think it's just been twos. Um, and I want to say, I feel like these twos, I really wasn't 
paying attention to it at first. Like I was seeing them. And typically what I would do is like, if I seen some numbers, then I would um, think about what I was thinking about. And then I look the number up and see what it says. And yes, the number means what it means. But once you start getting in tune with yourself and start getting in tune with God and the universe, um, you'll realize that you'll just realize the shift in things that happen. So like when I first start looking up numbers, like typically the same thing will come up, even the same website. But as I become more in tune, like I'm driving, I see it on the license plates. I think about what I'm thinking about. I look it up. It, a lot of the times it won't be the same. What pops up. Um, and then a lot of the times it's really just to let me know because I, I'm an overthinker. So I kind of worry a lot. I'm not going to say kind of, I worry a lot. I'm an overthinker. And so, um, a lot of the times it's really just, just God and my ancestors and angels letting me know that they're here to support me, um, that I need to focus on myself, that I need to continue on this path. I need to continue on loving myself, building my dreams, building my future, um, I need to make healthy boundaries um, and overall that they with me and that I'm protected. So I really don't need to worry about anything. I really don't need to stress. I don't need to panic. I don't I don't need to do anything but just be me, um, stay obedient, stay faithful um, and just keep evolving as an individual while I'm on this human experience <laughs> because um, it get hard. Like I said in that one video, it get hard sometimes when you feel like, you know, you don't have people to talk to. And yes, I have people to talk to. I have friends. I have family. I have people that I can talk to. But, um, and I don't, and I don't want to say open up because I can open up to my, my friends and my family that I have right now. Um, but just be 100% transparent. Just be 100% comfortable in a conversation like some stuff my family it's not what they're interested in we're all on different journeys you know my friends are other places in their life as well so sometimes it's not stuff that they want to talk about so sometimes I feel like yeah you know I'm saying I'm still thugging this out by myself but in those moments God come through and let me know that I'm not alone like I might not have physically somebody with me in that moment or as much as I would um I would like to but I think this time is for me to um not not have anybody, but not have anybody that close to where I can build a codependency on them. I think that as me as an individual, um, I've built codependencies in relationships with people. And so now I think this is time for me to be dependent on myself um, and to have faith in God and not, not be toxic as far as in being so codependent on somebody else and them being available for me, them being there for me. Um, them coming to save me, me feeling like I can't do anything unless somebody is there, me needing somebody's advice, somebody's opinion, you know, just validation from other individuals that are going through their own journey right now. And we all have our own journey. So I can feel the need to go to one of somebody else and ask them for their advice and their opinion. But ultimately, they're not walking in my shoes. They don't have the vision that I have. They don't have the goals that I have, like, and so this time is for me to be building my relationship with God and building my, my relationship with myself so that I can trust myself and so that I can trust God. And so that I just don't, like I said, I just don't be toxic and be looking for validation and having codependency on other individuals because that's, it's draining. It's, it's extremely draining for all parties involved. Um, and I'm not, a super duper duper like codependent person like I'm not always calling people texting people like I've never been like that but I get super duper emotional in my own feelings and I withdraw which has made it um, a negative for me because if I felt like oh well I've been there for a b and c I need them to be here for me um sometimes I wouldn't even vocalize it and sometimes I would vocalize it but if they didn't come through y'all I just I bought up in a shell and I came up with so many scenarios in my mind on why they didn't why they didn't come through why they wasn't there for me in a, a, a million ways <laughs> on how I'm gonna cut them off <laughs> so, so that's not healthy that's not healthy for me um I maybe not have lashed out at the individuals but I'm pretty sure my energy changed and they felt the energy shift and then um it's just not healthy 
it's, it's just not a healthy way of life for me. It's not, it's, it's not, it's not healthy for me. And so, um, lately back to my numbers lately, what I feel like, um, uh, my numbers have been, um, it's two, two, two. Um, I feel like two, two, two has been following me for about a year and a half right now. Um, I can't remember the first time I seen it, but, um, the last time I seen it was just like 10 minutes ago. <laughs> on my phone. Um, and I see it everywhere. Y'all like everywhere. Um, and when I first seen it, I'm gonna be completely honest with y'all. I was, I was in a tarot. Like I've always believed in God, but I was, I was in a tarot. I feel like God speaks to me one way through tarot and I've had to use my discernment lately on who I listen to, who I don't listen to the words that they use the energy they bring to see if it's really a message. And now I just don't go searching. I used to go searching. Now I I just let everything come to me. And that's how I feel like, oh, this is really a message that's for me. This is a message that's not for me. Like, you know, because you can get wrapped up in the outside voices, the world, tarot, anything that you may be involved in, um, depending on where you are in your life, you can get addicted to it. People think addictions is like alcohol, drugs, and sex. Like you can get addicted to anything and it could just be not healthy for you. So I was a little bit addicted to tarot because I wasn't talking to people. And so when I was saying 222, I was thinking like, um, um, what was I thinking it was? I think I was thinking it was like, like my husband is close or my husband is near or something like that. Yeah. And I'm not in a relationship. And so I was like, Oh my gosh, like I want to get married. And y'all, let me tell you, I never like, I've never actually really thought about being married. Like I've thought about being married, but like have had that internal feeling like I want to be married. Like, you know, I want a family. I want to build something with my family, like a house, a business. Um, I just want to like redo the like. How do I want to say this? I want to redo the foundation of relationships and marriages that have been presented to me. Um, I want to show my children something different. I want to show them that love is love is an action. Love is a commitment. Love is just not a word that you say like, oh, I feel like I love you. OK, but are you going to love me when I'm having a bad day? You gonna love me when I'm going through depression. You gonna love me if I lose my job. You're gonna love me if I can't be the happy go lucky person that you need me to be today. You know, love is an action, love is a commitment. Um, and I wanna show my children that that is something that's obtainable. Um, I think I think everybody has come so so numb to, I can do it by myself. I can do it by myself. Yes, we can do stuff by ourselves. Yes, we can work. Yes, we can pay bills. Yes, we, we can we can take on the world by ourselves. I think as women, we've proved that. <laughs> I think men have proven that too, but why would y'all think God would make us humans to not work together, to not be in relationships to not learn how to act act on love. Um, it's so easy to hate. It's so easy to match somebody's energy if you feel like somebody is being less than of what you are. But what if you actually took the time to like actively love somebody and actively love yourself? You know, like... What, what difference do you think that would make? I think it would make a big difference. But this is me. This is how I feel. And so um, with the 222, that's what I thought it was. Like, I'm supposed to be in, I'm be in a relationship. My husband is on his way. Da, 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 da. And that's all I was thinking about. That's all I was fucking talking about. I want to focus on nothing else. Y'all, I'm looking. Like, where he at? Where he coming? Like, because I want to be married now, you know? Like, I want to travel the world. I, it's just so many things that I want to do that I'm still going to do. But it's like... I want to be married. I think I'm, I'm ready to try to experience life with a life partner. Um, I'm ready to let some walls down. At the time, no, now I am. To let some walls down, to learn how to love myself, to learn how to let somebody love me because 
I feel like there's things that I can accomplish in my life by myself. But the one thing that I struggle with is allowing somebody to love me and me feeling comfortable loving somebody. Like I can people please. I can do that like because I'm a nurturer. And I don't even want to say people please because I'm getting out of that. Like I'm, I definitely have boundaries now. Like, but I'm a nurturer. But I, like I said, I'm getting boundaries, so it's it's a lot more healthier than what it used to be. Um, but like, but like since time has went on, um, and everything, and my life has has definitely shifted from me being heavily into tarot to more so like following God. Now, yes, I still listen to some tarot. I still practice tarot myself, but I'm also listening to God. I'm listening to sermons. I'm listening to prophetic words. I'm going to church. (laughs) You know, I'm doing all these other things. It's not just tarot. And, um, I seen this video, y'all came across this video out of nowhere, and it was Genesis 222. And that was the first time biblically 222 has ever come up. And I was like, what? What is this? I don't know nothing about the Bible. I don't know nothing about the Bible. So I listened to this lady, and she talking. The lady name is Shannon. Um, I can't think of her last name, but when I post this video, I'm going to look her page up and post her um, in the comments. Um, but she gave a word and, um, it was saying that you get married soon. And I was like, oh my gosh, shut the front door, you know, like, and she spoke about Genesis 2, 2, 2. And, um, I was just like, oh my gosh, maybe I'm getting married. And, and so I really started paying attention to 2, 2, 2. Um, I went on a little road vacation with my friends to a wedding. They got married on 4, 2, 2, 2, 2. And the sermon that the, the pastor was talking about was um, is basically saying yes to God, um, coming into union with God and knowing that coming into union with God, um, that all of my relationships and everything that I bear after that is going to be fruitful. Not saying that my life is going to be 100 um, percent bad day proof, <laughs> but but overall, you know, I'm going to have God's favor once I come into this union with him. Um, I went to, uh, my cousin was getting engaged and that was, um, about a year ago. And so my aunt had bought my plane ticket for me to go and I hadn't looked at my ticket or anything. And I was going, my cousin was getting engaged. was going to see him and my seat, my row was two and my seat was 22 or my, my row was 22 and my seat was two, something like that. Going there, coming back. Um, and so it just, it it literally pops up everywhere. Um, like everywhere. Um, all my friends, all my friends and, uh, one of my cousins, they know, um, that I deal with sequence numbers. They know 222 is my number. I even got a tattooed on my leg. Um, and they send it to me all the time. And it's crazy because a lot of moments that they send it to me, um, I'm feeling real down. I'm feeling, I ain't gonna say real down. I'm feeling down. I'm feeling down about my life. Um, as far as in what am I doing? Am I making the right choices? Um, am I healing? Because sometimes I can't tell if I've if I've made if I've made any progress with healing. You know, like because some days I feel like I'm on top of the world, and then some days I'm like, oh my gosh, I got this feeling again. And like my biggest thing that I need to work on is rejection. Um, I don't like rejection. I always feel rejected, but half the time I don't even know if it's if it's my brain or if I'm really being rejected. So um, I'm trying to find balance and peace with that myself. And those moments where I feel like, y'all, I'm not good enough. Like, I ain't healing enough. Like, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna find nobody. Like, ain't nobody gonna find me. Like, ain't no man gonna want me. I ain't gonna get married. Like, I got this problem. I got this problem. I got this problem. Like, this is where I'm at in my life. And, and as far as in with me, like, I feel like I'm successful in my life. Um, I'm doing what I want to do. Like, um, I can't make them folks pay me what I feel like I should be getting paid. But I'm doing what I'm doing. Um, Accelerating. I'm definitely meeting goals. Um, I'm still learning. And I've accomplished a lot for myself. Um, I got my cosmetology degree. I got a degree in education. Um, I'm a certified life coach. And um, I plan on... Becoming a certified um, yogi instructor. That's that's the next goal for me. Um, and so I feel like I'm doing good. Like I said, um, these people ain't paying me, but 
I feel like God is having me accomplish all these things so that um, I can serve some people and then the financial abundance will, will do what it do. Like, it'll do what it do. I don't want to be rich. I want to be able to take care of my kids, travel the world, um, and eat good, some good food and spread the word. Ultimately, that's my goal and help people be healthy. So I want to be rich, but I definitely want to be more um, financially comfortable. I guess that's that's the word that I want to say. But um, so in those moments when I feel like, you know, and sorry, y'all, this is a rambling video a little bit too. But when I feel like that, you know, y'all, my friends come through. God has my friends come through and send me two, two, two. Like, don't worry, Ranesha. This is your season. Today is not your day. But this is definitely your season. Um, I feel like the whole purpose of me um, wanting to feel... I feel like the whole purpose of this wanting to get married has been placed on my heart because I think I got some got something in store for me and my future husband to do as far as in serving the word and ministering and helping people heal, uh, men and women, um, to show them that it can be done, um, to show them that it's safe, that it's okay where you were in the past, the relationships that you've been in. The way that you've been in the relationships, the way that you thought loving or caring or being in a relationship that was that wasn't working. Um, I think God is definitely breaking shackles off of people to open their minds up, to heal, to learn, um, to come into union um, as far as in romantic relationships and friendships. Um, parental relationships. Um, I think this this relationship thing is on multiple different levels for me. Um it's a marriage and it's personal relationships in my family that um, are coming back into union and, and are being restored. Um, and I feel like with that being done, it's just going to, it's going to push my faith. It's, it's going to let me know. I mean, I know God is real, but you know, we all have those moments, especially at the beginning. And even sometimes in life when it get hard, I think we all have those moments like, why me, God? You know, um, or why not me? And those are the moments where our faith is being tested. And I feel like I'm never, bad stuff happens and I'm always trying to find a lesson in it. So like something bad can happen. I'm never like, oh my gosh, God, why me? Like my feelings are hurt, but I'm always, I'm always trying to find a lesson in it. But like with this getting married thing, baby, I'm like, why Why I feel like I want to get married and I don't think I'm going to get married? I feel like the world is different. I feel like um, the internet is extremely a touchy area. We've already talked about the internet. And um, just me being the type of female that I am, the type of person that I am, um, sometimes I feel like ain't nobody going to like me. I don't want to go out. I don't want to drink. I don't want to club. Um, I don't want to be taking provocative pictures on social media. I don't want to be male bashing. It's just, it's just so many things that I don't want to do that. I feel like the entire world loves. <laughs> so sometimes I'm like, I feel like I gotta be a mean girl. I feel like I gotta be like, uh, not who I am. But then my friends come through and God come through and let me know, like, there is somebody out here that is sick wanting exactly who I am and how I am. Um, and I'm not going to have to change who I am and be anything differently. And he's going to love me just as God loves me. And I'm perfect in God's eyes, so I'm going to be perfect in my husband's eyes. And, um, and not to say that he's going to help me because I think I've been single for like a year and a half, two years now. And God has God has been helping me heal and showing me what I need to heal, showing me the things about myself that I would carry into um, a new relationship. And that's probably why I haven't been in a relationship, the things that I would carry into a relationship. And I would self-sabotage it because I have trust issues. My esteem, my self-esteem is not where it should be. Um, and like I said, I don't care about social media, but I do. And one thing I'm going to be like, oh, since I'm not on social media posting naked pictures, oh, my husband going to be looking at all these women and liking these women and A, B, and C. And it's like, God, just keep healing my heart. 
God, just keep healing my heart. Keep healing me. Keep showing me what to do. Keep showing me where I need to be, the people I need to talk to, the environments that I need to be in. Like I'm, I've joined a women's group um, that helps just support women, be more confident in ourselves. Um, um, majority of my friends are married. <laughs> and now I do have a couple divorced friends, but they are not like the... I'm never getting to, I'm never getting married. I hate men and all men are like this. Like they're not that they're not them, those type of people. And I'm not judging people, but that's, that's just not my heart. Um, and I feel like we all have things that we go through. Um, we all need somebody to help us heal, to grow, to learn, um, to end a cycle because just as much as women out here, like all men is like, this is definitely men out here like I've been hearing men say women don't want nothing about money women just want to see what men can do for them women always got men on a back burner I'm just just so many different things that I hear from both sides to where it's like it's not men or women it's it's everybody it's everybody it's everybody it's social media it's social media I'm gonna say it's social media because y'all know how I feel about social media but it's it's not because I mean you still have to have self-control and discipline and understanding in any type of relationship. And I think that when people do things like that, it's because they're not whole within themselves. Um, there's things that I've done and things that I've entertained. I'm not a cheater. That's just not me. But there's things that I've entertained that I shouldn't have entertained because I wasn't whole. And so I think that's why people do the things that they do. Um, and I feel like people cheat just because it's... um. It's a lack of something and they're trying to fill a void. Um, and it's easy. Well, I'm not even going to say it's easy because clearly it's not easy, but it's easy to, um, it's easy to revert back in those spaces where you're not growing, those spaces where you're not being your authentic self. Um, because I mean, how easy would it be to just tell somebody, hey, I think I like somebody else. I think I'm vibing with somebody else. I think we should take a break so I can see what this is about. Seems kind of rude. Seems kind of shallow. But how much ruder is it to cheat? Like, and it leaves the person that you're with, you know, questioning. But in reality, it's like, why couldn't you be honest? Why couldn't you say that you wanted to do something else? But whatever, I'm about to get on that that tangent. But yes, yeah, so I feel like two 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 has definitely been my number. I feel like it is not only the number for um, a sign that um, this is a marriage season for everybody. This is a restoration reunion season for everybody. But um, this is the beginning of my life. Like Genesis is the beginning of the Bible. So like this is this is a whole new, not even a chapter, just a whole a whole new book that's being written in my life. Like, and it's now, like it's, it's, it's happening. Like rather if I wanted to or not, um, it's happening. Um, God is blessing me. God is shifting things. God is putting me in places and buildings and relationships with people who, um, I feel it. I'm still nervous. I'm, I'm, I'm scared y'all because I feel like I self-sabotage everything. I feel like my, um, even though I'm a positive individual, I feel like I have bad luck. I get the short end of the stick. People are always trying to get over on me. And it's not because I'm naive or I just don't have common sense, y'all. I genuinely want the best for people. I don't have bad intentions for people. And like, I see, I, I feel when people about to be like on some crap and they screw me over. But what I want to do, I want to be super saver. And God is, that's why God made me a life coach. So I can have boundaries <laughs> so I can stop draining myself trying to save people um god is definitely helping me with my discernment because um ultimately i'm gonna say a loving person i'm gonna have my heart open this is just me um but i'm not going to be pouring into any more empty cups i'm gonna pray for everybody i'm never gonna close the door i'm never gonna shut anybody but baby i'm not pouring my entire cup into anybody anymore like that's just what i can't do because i realize that leaves me feeling depleted empty and then that's when the resentment come in and that's when the negative thoughts come in and that's on me because ain't nobody telling me to keep pouring into these people like I can pray to God and ask God to help these people and do for these people what I can't do because if they take it from me and it's not making a difference I'm not helping them trying to serve everybody I'm not serving anybody trying to serve everybody you know so 
yeah. So I definitely think this is the beginning of my life. Um, I think I'm getting married sometime soon, y'all. I think me and my future husband are going to have a ministry. Um, We're going to have some land. We're going to have a farm, some animals. Um, I think we are going to be serving the youth. I think we're going to be serving married couples, um, counseling, pre-counseling, um, I don't know what else we have in store because I haven't met him yet. So I don't know what his dreams and aspirations are, but I'm pretty sure they're going to be, we're going to be, I'm not going to say he's going to be aligned with me. We're going to be aligned with each other. And um, I'm excited to see what I got in store for me and my family and my future. And I can't wait to meet everybody that um, my yes is connected to. Um, I can't wait to meet the rest of the people who their yes is connected to me. Um, it's definitely felt different doing this journey with God versus um, doing it by myself and saying there is a God. Um, trying to follow God, trying to build my relationship with God, um, and then to see things happen in a 3D. Um, it's amazing. Like, it's it's amazing. It's, it's definitely amazing, so... Thank you for chit-chatting with me, y'all. I hope um, this made some sense. It's early in the morning. I feel like I've been rambling, but um, I start paying attention to those signs and those synchronicities that happen in your life. Pay attention to when you go places and you don't know why you went there and you run into somebody, you bump into somebody, or you see a message, or just start paying attention to all that stuff, guys, because I'm telling you, once you slow down and you start paying attention and you quiet your mind, um, you literally will get the answers. Like, I know it sounds cliche. Everybody like, you know, you need to meditate. You need to do this. You need to do that. You you need to do whatever works for you, whatever brings you peace, whatever quiets your mind, whatever opens your heart, whatever puts you in a space to where you can, you can get the messages from God because he's speaking, he's talking, he's using people, he's using music, he's using the weather, he's using birds, he's using numbers, he's using so many different things in the world because God knows how we are. He He made us. So he knows sometimes we struggle. Um, and that's because we're human. That doesn't make you bad. That doesn't mean that you turning away from a God. Um, you human. And once you accept that and you open yourself up and, and you just be who you are um, with everybody, even God, the flow is going to be easier. You can't have who you are from God because he made you. You can't be like, like, be like this with God and then, and then, <laughs> and then try to be another way because he everywhere, he everything. So you can't fake the funk with him. You might be able to fake the funk with some people in your life, some humans, you know, put a, put a mask on and say, oh, I'm fine. I'm having a good day. And they believe you having a good day. God, no, you're not. God, know you questioning him. God, know that you don't believe that he going to do this one thing for you or these two things or the or, or these million things like God, God, he knows. So just just be true to yourself so that you can start receiving the blessings that you deserve. Like this world is amazing. There's so many things that this world has to offer us outside of money. And and, and that could be it for some people. But for some people, it's not. It's other stuff. And once you just open your mind and your heart up to that, to receive the blessings, to believe in, you are worthy of the blessings. You are worthy of the financial stability. You are worthy of the love, of the marriage, of the business, of, of the ministry. You are worthy of the children. You, you are worthy of healing, of the friendships. You are worthy. No matter how you feel, what you've been through, what somebody else has told you, don't believe it. You're still here. God is not finished with you. God is not finished with us. God is just getting started. This is the beginning. God is recreating. I mean, everything that's going on in the world, I, I, I feel like this is me. I feel like God is recreating. So today, I want you guys to try to sit back and slow down and Think about all the things you've been worrying about. Think about all the things you've been talking to God about, you've been asking God about, um, and you feel like you haven't heard him. I want you to take every morning, start today, tonight, 
Um, and just talk to God. Just be open. Just say everything. Just go to him with an open heart being your authentic self because that's what he's waiting for. And then I want you to ask him to show me. Can you show me, God? Can you show me that this is what you said is going to happen? My faith is a little low right now. I, I, I need a little bit to keep me going. I feel like giving up. I'm at the ends. I don't see no proof. All my relationships are leaving. My job is not getting better. My finances aren't growing. I keep starting this business over and over and over. I keep trying to find people to help me with my business. No doors are opening. Nobody's helping me. I can't get the information. I can't get the loan. I can't get the grant. Lord, I need a door open. Ask them to show you a sign. Be specific. Be big. Be courageous in what you're asking for. Let them ask for a sign. And then let him show you the sign. And then you start believing. You start having faith. And you keep moving accordingly. Don't question yourself. Everything is a step. Everything is a lesson. Everything is a lesson. And you never know tomorrow, after you finish watching this, might be your big shift. God can do things amazingly, miraculously, and expeditiously. I don't know if I was supposed to say all those together like that. <laughs> But he can. In a blink of an eye, your life can change. In a blink of an eye, your life can change. So I love y'all. Have a blessed day. Be great. Shine your light in the darkest places. Don't know, don't let anyone dim your light. You be the light in all the dark places. I'm learning to be the light in all the light dark places as well. I feel like I get on people's nerves trying to be so um optimistic but whatever it is what it is it's just gonna be me <laughs> so yeah love y'all have a blessed day be great be ambitious be courageous grow do something different spread some love smile go exercise go do that thing you've been waiting for a million people to join you to do just go do it today Everybody that you want to be there is already there. They're waiting on you to get there. They're there. Don't try to bring people who don't want to go. You go and you meet your tribe and you meet your people because they're waiting on you. So have a good day. Be blessed again. I love y'all.